This is presidential candidate Andrew Yang. You may have heard him speak about how technology and automation is going to wipe out American jobs. My friends in Silicon Valley and my friends who work in technology know that what we did to the manufacturing workers, we are now going to do to the retail workers, the call center workers, the fast food workers, and then even bookkeepers, accountants, uh, insurance agents, lawyers, and on and on. The lawyers? How does their client plead? Your Honor, my client pleads guilty to all charges. That, that, your Honor, no, 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 it's just at it. It's, it's, I hit the wrong drop down. So I'm not going to explore robot lawyers in this episode, but according to popular belief, automation is going to make hundreds of thousands, if not millions of workers in the fast food industry lose their jobs. So let's do a deep dive and see if this is in the near future or just fear mongering. In the United States, there are an estimated 3.7 million fast food employees working in 247,000 fast food restaurants. And that's a lot of workers. But one of the biggest problems in the fast food industry is convincing those workers to stay. In 2018, MIT Technology Review reported that the turnover rate in the fast food industry is 150%. This means that if a fast food restaurant has 20 positions, they will see 30 workers come and go within the span of a year. It costs a restaurant thousands of dollars to recruit, process, and train new employees. And when a position is unstaffed after an employee quits or is terminated, the restaurant not only loses money, but also lost productivity. And while high turnover is a factor, there is a shortage of workers in general. Take, for example, this 2018 New York Times article about the owner of a Subway sandwich shop who had so much trouble finding workers that he was forced to work behind a counter because he couldn't hire enough employees. In April 2019, the National Restaurant Association reported that there were 991,000 unfilled jobs in the restaurant industry. So if you're a fast food restaurant owner, why not just invest in robots or technology that will completely replace all of the workers? Unfortunately, they can't, because it's not a thing yet. But there is technology that is being installed in an attempt to compensate for an increasingly tight labor market. First, there's touchscreen kiosks, one of the supposed catalysts of restaurants eliminating fast food jobs. One goal of these kiosks is to cut down on the need for cashiers. This allows owners to place crew members in different areas of the restaurant, cooking, prep work, customer service, etc. In a perfect situation, every customer would use a kiosk to place their orders and make a payment, thus eliminating cashiers. But as you can see, we're not quite there yet. Another advantage to having kiosks is that they suggest additional items to the customer. This is called upselling, which can bring in extra revenue for the restaurant. The kiosk does it more naturally and efficiently than a human cashier. When they are actually working, so cashiers are here to stay for the time being. But is the kiosk stealing jobs? No. Remember, there is a difference between a task being eliminated and a job being eliminated. And if a fast food restaurant is constantly looking to hire employees because of a tight labor market and consistent turnover, that means that there are positions that are likely unfilled. So in this case, Adding technology is filling a need, not stealing a job. Then there's Itza, a restaurant where you can place your orders on a kiosk, and when your name is displayed, you can pick it up in these nifty digital cubbies. I'm here at Itza, which is a fully automated restaurant. It's gonna put a lot of people out of work? It's not putting anyone out of work. It's making their jobs more efficient and more enjoyable, I like to think. Hang on, whose jobs are you making easier? I thought Itza was a fully automated restaurant. It is a proprietary system, but there are absolutely people back there. But really it's all about using technology to make their jobs more efficient. In other words, it's not a fully automated restaurant. Since the food makers are hidden behind the scenes, they don't need to interact with customers. Instead, they can concentrate on making the food faster. At the new San Francisco restaurant called Itza, don't look for servers or cashiers. They've been replaced by touchscreens. Except that there are human employees in red shirts 
taking orders from customers. We have no lines. When people come in, there is almost always an ordering station waiting available for them. Sure, no line, got it. Now, the digital cubbies are just a novel method of streamlining the process of passing orders to the customer, as opposed to an employee calling out a name or number and handing customers over their food. 43? 43? But Eatsa's tech isn't perfect. An advocacy group for the disabled sued Eatsa on behalf of a blind man who claimed he was unable to order and collect his food. And despite all of the bells and whistles, Itza closed all of its locations by early 2019. Maybe it was because they only sold quinoa bowls, I don't know. And while Itza is gone, the tech they used is popping up in other restaurants. Okay. Stop. There's no way! This is so cool. Wow Bao is a fast food restaurant that serves, among other things, bao, which is a type of dumpling. One night in 2018, Wow Bao received a visit from Andrew Yang. This is a restaurant where we just order our food. It's always in the middle front of the house. And then they just come out. Actually, you got to see over here. Come here, come here. They just get served in these... Uh... Pods, Pods, it seems like. So, a couple points here. Andrew Yang is saying that the tech is reducing jobs in fast food, using Wow Bao as an example. But Yang has no idea how many people are working behind the wall, or how many people work for the restaurant in general. Nor is Yang taking into consideration what I mentioned earlier. The fact that there are nearly a million unfilled jobs in the restaurant industry. If you're a restaurant owner, why would you go out of your way to create more positions that will cost you more money, more time, and more resources to keep filled? Andrew Yang wants to make America think harder, but before he can do that, he needs to start thinking harder for himself. Another fast food technology that you may have heard of is Flippy, the burger flipping robot. Flippy's totally going to steal your job, right? People see, see a robot, they hear the word robot, they assume job replacement, but this is not about replacing jobs. Flippy flips the burger when it's time to cook the other side, and then takes the burger and bun off the grill and places them on a tray. But it requires a human employee to place all of the food on the grill and to assemble the burgers. So Flippy isn't eliminating jobs, but for human employees, it's eliminating the repetitive task of flipping burgers. Of course, not every restaurant can afford to implement Flippy, even if they wanted to, as the robot comes at a cost of $60,000 to start. $100,000 if you also wanted to clean the grill. And that's a pretty hefty price tag for a machine that basically just flips burgers. And on top of that hundred grand, you still have to pay someone to stand next to Flippy. Seems totally worth it. You can find Flippy doing its thing at Caliburger in Pasadena, California. The question is, can Flippy make a burger better than a human? It actually, it's not better, but it's similar. It, it hasn't got to that point yet. Wow, you got me sold. But if you're looking for something more impressive, there's Creator, a robot that not only cooks the burger, but also grinds the meat, slices the bun, and adds sauces and toppings. And as you can guess, it doesn't eliminate the need for humans as they need to prep all of the ingredients and keep reloading the machine. And at this point, the robotic creator is more niche than an all-around solution, because again, it only makes one thing, hamburgers. The machine, which makes 120 burgers an hour, reportedly costs around $1 million. And since it's only in one location, it's not costing thousands of Grillmasters their job anytime soon. But then again, would that be a bad thing? <laughs> no, no it wouldn't. I'm not putting down fast food workers by any means. No one's dream job is to work behind the grill in fast food. You take it because you have to. With that said, if a viable replacement comes along and you can fill what is arguably the toughest position in fast food, the industry should welcome it with open arms. Then there's the coolest thing you'll see today, the robotic kitchen at Spice in Boston. Patrons customize what they want to put in their meal, then hoppers feed ingredients into these rotating woks. When the food is ready, it empties into a bowl. After cooking, the wok is automatically cleaned, eliminating the need for a human to wash it. But what about all the dishwashing positions? Think of the dishwashers! At this new Boston restaurant, the meals are prepared by robots. They're betting you'll enjoy robot-prepared meals. 
The Boston restaurant where robots have replaced the chefs. The robots preparing food look so lifelike. It's amazing how far we've come from Flippy. But seriously, the technology here is pretty innovative. But again, it's limited to what it can make. And you still need plenty of human employees behind the scenes to help prep all the ingredients, keep the hoppers filled, put the finishing touches on each bowl, and interact with customers. And despite all of the innovation, Spice was only open for 18 months before they decided to close it down temporarily in November 2019 to tinker with the menu and the tech. And that means sometimes automation does reduce jobs. Sad, really. As you can see, automation in the fast food industry is in an experimental phase. So it's going to be a long, long time, if ever, before you see a fully automated fast food restaurant. So I hope this video puts your mind at ease. And if it did, be sure to hit that like button, share this video with a member of the Yang Gang, and as always, subscribe to the channel. Check out the links and sources in the description and check out these videos that you may have missed. Thanks again for stopping by everybody, and I hope to see you next time. Uh, excuse me, your, your honor, uh, can we get a 90 minute recess? My, uh, my lawyer needs Windows updates.